The all-American half pound. Two pure beef patty, lettuce, tomato. Singles. Going. This is Singles Going Steady, the podcast dedicated to exploring great singles with a particular eye to the punk, new wave, and DIY eras of the last century. My name is Steve McGowan. And mine is Adrian Madoc. And we're in a band, the Beef People, who released a single in 1986 on our own label, Zub Records. But we're also record collectors and very passionate about the perfect expression of pop music that is the single recording. Exploring the mystery of what makes for a great single is what propelled us to begin this podcast. All right. And today we're going steady on episode 023. And it's a big one for us. The Dayton, Ohio band, Guided by Voices, and their single, Bulldog Skin. And there's a little something for everybody in here. It's <laughs> it's one of your favorites. And right. then I've got a very long connection with Dayton, so I guess that's mm-hmm. my in. All right, so we've got the Dayton thing going. So Guided by Voices, it's almost like uh, climbing Mount Everest, right? The, the band is led by Bob Hollard from Dayton, Ohio. And many, many versions of the band. He is um, unbelievably prolific, as they say. He's released over 100, 100 LPs. Um, so you say, well, where do you start? So I'm just, um, we were talking about it. I'm just going to start with the record that really kind of got me into Guided by Voices, which is the Mag Earwig record, which is on Matador Records. And this song, Bulldog Skin, is uh, the single from that record. Um, this is kind of the transition period between the the basic low five four track stuff of uh, Alien Lanes and B Thousand and the, the the scat stuff he did on the scat label before then. This is kind of his moving up to the to the bigger leagues with with uh, Matador and. Uh, we were just watching the the uh, video. We'll talk about the video for this in a minute. Um, but Bob Pollard, uh, his stuff is uh, kind of exists in its own universe. He has his own lyrical thing going on. He has his own, you know, Who and Beatles touch tones, and he writes these amazingly cool pop rock songs. Um, they sound kind of like songs you've heard before, but they're not. And I just want to interject a little bit of my Dayton knowledge yes, here. Dayton. And, 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 and sort of, I think it ties into him, is that Dayton has a long history as a cradle of genius. Of course, that's where mm-hmm. um, the Wright brothers are, are from right. Dayton. Mm-hmm. And um, at one point, they had more patent holders per capita than any other city in the world. Wow. Um, so it was r- a real cradle of invention okay. and, and of innovation. Well, so, that ties in with um, this. <laughs> yeah, so I think that, that I guess he's a son of Dayton in that yes. way. Um, not in the aviation way, right. but uh, uh, in, or, the, in, or in the songwriting way. In the songwriting way, certainly yes. an innovator mm-hmm. and a creator and a all right, uh, so unstoppable. Uh, enough of us yapping. Let's um, play uh, a little bit of uh, "Guided by Voices" from 1997, the Mag Earwig record. The single is "Bulldog Skin." I played the part. I played the start. I made a table. a car I drove it far I dug the quality of steel I crashed my nerve I made it work I made it back with no big deal I faced the blood I dated the stud and now I don't know how to feel cause I
Okay, there they are. Bob Pollard and Guided by Voices, Bulldog Skin. We were watching the um, the video for this. It's a cute, funny video. It's got a kid in it named Larky Parka, and uh, he gets picked on at school. Well, as you would, but yeah. you had a name like Larky Parka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just ask him for it. Yeah, but he... Uh, he uh, Finds the little girl of his dreams, and they go to the rock show, and everything turns out good, right? Because he's it's very got, heteronormative. Yes, he's got uh, he's got bulldog skin, so he smiles all the way through all the wedgies and the swirlies and the and the wet willies. But this is the world that Pollard knows, yes, right? Yes, yes. He was a um, he was definitely um, uh, in Dayton. He taught fourth grade, I believe, for a long time while he was still doing just his solo stuff, and. Uh, um, so he has kind of a a little bit of a childlike perspective on some things. And, and certainly comes the, through. Yeah. that world of, yes. of the struggled kids, yes. kids to fit in. Right, and, right. Yeah. And uh, a lot of his lyrics deal with that sort of thing. Um, this is very much a classic kind of rock sh- rock song. This is a song I've covered in bands I've, I've been in. It's fun to play. It's it's good. It's got a great riff. Um it's you know it just it's just a good rock song and uh, um, guided by voices has it, he has churned out a lot of stuff it's not all great but he's churned out a lot of great songs a lot of really good singles um, almost every record has something on it where you just go wow and some of the some of the records in that string there are just all really amazing. Um, since some of what we're doing is trying to shine a light on things that people might be interested in mm-hmm. as sort of a, a way of, of getting an entry point into right. you know, something that may become a new enthusiasm, right. would you recommend this as an entry point for people interested in learning more? There, um, Yeah, I believe, I, I, I personally love Mag Earwick. Now, a couple records on, they moved to TVT Records, and they actually... The, the, the band is known for having kind of a lo-fi approach. And, uh, but when and they, what does that mean? Well, it, that means a lot of the stuff originally was recorded on four-track cassette. And, um, you know, not very high-quality big drums, you know. Um, and there's some of that stuff on Matt Gearwig, but some of it was recorded in a real studio in Dayton. When they moved up to TVT, they got Rick Ocasek from the Cars to produce them, and they did Do the Collapse and Isolation Drills. And if you want something a little slicker, those are both great records to listen to. Um, and then if you go back a little bit, if you're interested in the lo-fi thing, B-1000 is definitely um, probably considered his greatest record um that's certainly more manageable than here's a hundred things you right, need to go right. listen to them all you know, hundred, hundred albums i can't Not even uh, records, yeah i can't even hundred <laughs> albums <laughs> yes and and then there's there's albums of the outtakes the, the suitcase records i have one of those it's four cds of stuff that he never put out on anything else um so it's hard to keep up with uh, bob uh, they're also a, a great live band. I saw this tour at the Cotton Club in Atlanta, and um, his guitar player is Nate Gilliard, uh, who's been in a number of bands, Death of Samantha and a couple others, and uh, great guitar player. And uh, this was the night that the band outlasted the audience. They started and they played. They played about two and a half hours, then they, they went off stage the lights came up, the music came on, the kids started leaving, and the band struggled back on stage and started playing. <laughs> well, even while the music was playing. So some of the kids came back, and they played like another half an hour, and it, the whole thing happened again. The lights came on, music started playing, people were leaving, band came out again, played some more. <laughs> it happened a third time. Three times. Stop. But, Please, for the, the love time, of God. By the time they came out the third time, everyone was exhausted. And the, there weren't that many people left, but they were still rocking. It, it was literally one of the best shows I've ever seen. And uh, um, maybe a year later, I saw them at the 40 Watt Club. And um, they are known for their drinking prowess. And but at this point, they had a Budweiser sponsorship. There was Budweiser on everything, guided by voices. And... Um, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw Bob drink about 32 beers on stage. And um, as you can imagine, it wasn't a very good show. Um, so kind of like The Replacements, the best band and the worst band I've ever seen. It wasn't at the same time. The first time I saw them, they were one of the best bands I've ever seen. The second time I saw them, pretty much one of the worst bands I've ever seen because beer. So, you know, rock and roll kids. It's a sponsorship that's true to its, its yes. product. You get what you pay for, I guess. So um, that that that's guided by voices in a nutshell. But I would I would definitely check this out. There is also a um, a best of CD on Matador um, that has a lot of good stuff on it too. I would, that that's definitely worth checking out. Um, okay, Bulldog Skin, great single. Um, do you hear anybody covering this? I don't. I've got one. Um, oh, okay. Every band you've been in in the last... Well, yeah, band. every band I've played in has done a ton of Guided by Voices songs because I, I made them play them. But I want to hear the Pixies do this song. Oh, could, you know, I was kind of hearing that in my mind. Yeah, I could just hear Frank Francis uh, using his Neil Young voice on this one. It would be really awesome. Um, and Joey Santiago going nuts on the solo. That would be good. Do you have a recommendation? Um, I do have a recommendation that's Dayton adjacent, which is uh, <laughs> David McCullough's book on the Wright Brothers, Ooh. a recent bio- historical biography that's really good and a lot about their life. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a great, but, yeah, he's a great author a- about the the boys growing up in Dayton and. Um, Really interesting. The, the mm-hmm. kids had been, I guess, Wilbur had been picked on. Wow. And so it was really interesting. Like his teeth knocked out. And like Lucky a, Parker? Yeah, exactly. So I think it, it circles back. I think it's really the Wilbur Wright story that we yeah. get. Um, and Dayton also has just opened uh, a funk museum. No way. Right, because they, they've got a long association with a lot of the greats of funk, including mm. the Ohio players. Of course. So there, there's a, a funk bones uh, running a, a strong and true in Dayton. So if you wow. hit Dayton up, you can go to the Funk Museum. Cool. Well, I would recommend there's a couple of videos. Uh, Guided by Voices did actually supposedly break up for a few years. And... Um, um, how does one man's vision break up? I know, I know. It was kind of silly. They're back together now. But um, and they still tour, and they're still great. I saw, I saw them um, less than a year ago uh, in Asheville, and they were um, unbelievably good. But there are a couple of good videos you can see of them. Um, there's one called The Electrifying Conclusion of them playing in Chicago when they're supposedly breaking up. It's the last show, and so it starts off really good, and as it gets towards the end, it, it's a little bit more loose and drunk. And there's also a uh, Austin City Limits show with Guided by Voices from a few years back. Uh, I would recommend you check that out because they are a great live band. Um, that's all I've got for Guided by Voices. What about you? I think that's it. Okay, Dayton, Dayton, Dayton. And uh, Bob Pollard is is kind of a, an American genius. And this, the uh, single is on Matador Records, 1997. It is uh, Bulldog Skin. And this has been Singles Going Steady 023. And we will see you soon. See you soon. Bye. To learn more about the artists and recordings we just talked about, visit our website at zubrecords.com and click on the Singles Going Steady icon. You'll also find links to the persons, places, and things we recommend, and much more. You can find episodes of Singles Going Steady on our website or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Singles Going Steady is brought to you by the power and majesty of Zub Records. Zub Records. Records. Smart Smart sounds sounds for for sharp sharp people. people.